What's up, beautiful Capricorns? Welcome to my channel. It's your boy Prado G, and I am back at it again with another tarot reading, this time for you. If you are not a Capricorn and you're watching this video, mind your business. I'm just kidding. Make sure that you share this with the Capricorn, or if you just cross watching, um, I hope you get the tea that you are looking for. But shout out to all the Capricorns that are here today. Give this video a thumbs up specifically because this video is for you and not for anybody else. If it resonates, then take it if it does not resonate then it's for another capricorn out there if your birthday is between december 22nd and january 19th then you are a capricorn so period let's get into this reading for you i hope everybody's having a great day we're definitely sending the positive vibes out hmm. much love peace and prosperity you know i'm thinking that this is gonna be i don't know why i thought about cash just now money Cash money. Money must be on the brain for Capricorn. I don't know. We're going to see, though. Let's see. What's the basis of this reading for Capricorn? Ooh. Yeah. Death. Ooh. Death in reverse. And abundance in reverse. So that's so funny. There's something that needs to die or something that is dying that you might be resistant. And it could be blocking your abundance. <laughs> that's funny. I said cash um was definitely on my brain for you so you might be some sort of abundance might be dying you know there's some lack of abundance i feel here uh but death in reverse is saying like first of all this card means that you are learning that endings are merely just beginning so don't be afraid of death because death is just the beginning to something new things must die in order to be reborn in order for new creations to come about. Also, abundance says, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So it's like you need to realize how abundant you are. You are literally limitless and you need to fear nothing. Don't fear anything, not even death. Um, because there's an abundance of death <laughs> all throughout our life. We all die at some point in time, right? So we have to embrace that. You are limitless and you can manifest whatever you desire. So, um, if you feel like your abundance been dying or your cash flow has been decreasing, just know that you are limitless, Capricorn. And you can definitely turn the situation around for yourself, but you do have to get in service. This is at the bottom of the deck. It feels good when I can help others, right? So yeah, just be of service right now to the world, Capricorn, and you'll be just fine. Everything is going to turn around for you. And the old you is dying off and the new you is coming into life also if you have um experienced the death in the family recently in the past um yeah i just want you to know that uh it's a new beginning for you that you must embrace and we got to make peace with it eventually don't let it get get to you so much to the point where it blocks your abundance and it makes you realize um and it stops you from realizing how dope and limitless you really are capricorn so the first card that came up is pray. Mm. So the way is to pray. I really do feel like right now you need to pray. Trust that you are following the way that is best suited for you, Capricorn. But pray, pray, pray for your abundance. Pray if you are experiencing some sort of family death or uh, you're just experiencing the death to the old you. Just pray your way through right now. You need it. Um, because you can easily fall into confusion. You might even be experiencing some sort of confusion. It's popping up right now as your challenge. Yeah, and it's making you stagnant. So whatever, like I said, this death that you might be experiencing right now is making you a little bit confused. It's like wrecking your brain. The Eight of Swords is popping up. And it's like you might feel trapped or something like that. But it's an illusion, okay? And uh, don't be stagnant. We need you to share your emotions with um, those nearest and dearest to you right now. If you feel like you don't have anyone near and dear to you, I'm here for you. So by all means, leave a comment below if you want to chat it up about whatever. Um, Capricorn. The card that jumped out below is the star. Oh, my God. There's some faith. I know you got faith below the surface. You have a lot of faith. You have a major underbelly of faith that things are going to work out for you. And you're going to shine through. You are the star. This energy is popping up. Um, you are the star. So there's some sort of star light guiding you right now. Something is trying to guide you subconsciously. Listen up, though, because the Prince of Swords comes up when you are being too quick to act. Um, when this is in reverse... 
you know, this past energy, this is past energy, past energy when you were just acting too fast, Capricorn, slow down and um, balance yourself out. Use your thoughts to create um, something that is going to benefit you more than it's going to destroy you and utilize the elements too that you have at hand, your emotions, your earth life and your passions and your spirit, which is also water, earth and fire. Appreciate the elements that you have that make your life what it is. Capricorn. What about Capricorn uh, present moment energy right now? Oh, hold on now because it's a few things that just flipped over. We got that, that too. But this one was the first thing that jumped. So it's the king of discs. This is like the king of pentacles. Very much determined, Capricorn. You are determined to make something happen right now. You are determined to show your light and shine like the star you are. Um, There's a lot to get out of this card, too, because it's a bright card. Look how light and bright that sun is shining, and you are staring right in the direction of it. Also, you have a lot to harvest with the king of this coming up. So this is speaking to me as, like, right now you have a lot... Um to be grateful for and you are super determined all of your hard work has led to you having this garden of wheats and beautiful flowers you see in this image right here it's just like you're the king of earth right now of your life so take charge and remain determined um and don't allow things right now like this death that's showing up don't allow it to regress you let it advance you into the next level because you could be feeling a little worried when the two of swords is popping up, it's definitely some sort of lack of peace. It's like you're not at peace because you're blindfolded. You need to take the blindfolds off and make a choice because you're between two choices right now. It's like you got to make the choice to um, wake up from your dreams, this dreamy state, this this um, detached state. Let's say that maybe you've been feeling a little bit detached emotionally. Um overly absorbed by the dream life that you want to have Capricorn but you gotta bring yourself back to the surface um and be enthusiastic about what it is that you have going on right here with this worry this worry is popping up right now you worry but what for what though let's see Oh, D base. Okay, so the princess of this. There could be somebody in your life, a princess, someone that you deem as a princess, Capricorn, um, a woman uh, that could be having your baby. Um, I don't know. I just got that hit right there. Like it could be someone, but you gotta make sure that you are elevating the situation instead of worrying about it because then you're going to, uh, you know, take the life out of it. It's like you're stripping life force out of it the more that you are emotionally detached from it and you're not enthusiastic about it. So be enthusiastic about this situation at hand right now. However you are viewing your life, uh, pray, Capricorn. Pray right now. What's the environment given for Capricorn's energy? Ooh, hold on, y'all. I got to get that together. Way too much stuff jumped out. I don't, mm -mm. That's a little too confusing for me. It's like 20 cards on the floor. Excuse me. Hopefully they ain't throw y'all off too much. <laughs> All right, what's the environment giving for Capricorn? What's showing up in Capricorn's environment right now? I felt something flip, I think. Did something flip? I thought I felt something flip. I don't know, maybe my, my, my fingers was playing tricks on me. Okay, anyways. <laughs> All right, Capricorn's environment, please. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, anguish. The three of swords. There's some sort of heartbreak going on here. Maybe you uh, left somebody behind. That's why this regression is showing up right next to it. Maybe you regress. Instead of advancing with someone, you are um, stepping away from them. And you could be in anguish. You could be in a place of anguish, but you don't need to suffer. Just release this suffering from your heart. You don't deserve it, Capricorn. At the bottom of the deck is uh, obstinate. So it's like you're abstaining from something um, instead of bringing it into life. You're holding back. And that could be making you feel this anguish right now. Or someone in your environment might be feeling anguish because of a heartbreak. You might have had to separate from them. But yeah, tyranny is popping up. So hopes and fears. This is the emperor. There could be somebody in your life um, that you know that 
was once bringing you some sort of structure, but then it became too controlling. Also, you might be afraid. You might be too controlling too right now, Capricorn. And uh, you want too much structure in this situation. And it could be making you a little bit of a control freak. Um, but yeah, or like, I really don't know. It could be somebody, it could be control freak energy just that you're connected to. Let's give a little bit more. Can I get some clarity? Clarify the emperor for Capricorn. What is this emperor in reverse showing? Can we get some more clarity? So yeah, it's like some sort of sadness with this right here. There's some sort of sadness coming from this emperor in reverse. It's like you hoping for something with this person, maybe. Um, or, yeah, there's some sort of sadness connected. It's like the nine of cups in reverse. Like, water is being poured out. Somebody is not taking your emotions seriously um, here. And it's not what you really hope for. Um, you're afraid. Someone is being deceptive, too, because this is the queen of cups in reverse. Yeah, very deceptive energy here. Um, they're not reflecting on themselves emotionally. And uh, there's some sort of failure. Yeah, so there's a failure coming up with that energy. It's like the, I don't know, if it's talking about you, Capricorn, if you have been feeling sad lately because there's something that you want to manifest, like your abundance is just not popping up for you the way that you want to, don't be deceptive. You need to be more reflective and tap in and see what sort of, um, where do you feel like you have failed? Because there's a failure popping up with the four of wands in reverse. So it's like, yeah, you might have felt you might feel some sort of failure going on popping up for you. Or you might feel like you failed, but you have not. You haven't failed, Capricorn. Um this is your outcome though. Oh my god, this is your card, Capricorn. The devil is literally your card. Look at that, Capricorn right there. This is the card that's tied to your sign. Um and you are on a suspension period right now. Like there's some something ah, there's something that you really desire. Like I said, abundance. Look at all that money coming from the devil. Um, but the devil is not necessarily a bad figure. Uh, the devil is just the ego aspect of who we all are. So it's it can be considered as the lesser than, the darker aspect of who we are. But um, just make sure that you are in tune with your desires and not with your addictions so much. And surrender. Surrender your addictions so that you can really bring your desires about because this is the hangman it's like some sort of pause period between you and your desires capricorn at the bottom of the deck we have weakness yeah something somebody is your weakness or some some sort of weakness is creeping in yeah it's like you're passionate about someone or something and they're your weakness hmm and you probably really desire them, but you just need to surrender to the moment. One more card. Let's finalize this reading for Capricorn. What's the final message for Capricorn here? What can Capricorn expect? Final message for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to be focused on right now? Um, Y'all seen that jump? I'm just trying to make sure nothing else flip to in the process okay nothing did but the card that flipped and it came up this way it was the seven of cups in reverse so it's like greed don't be greedy capricorn uh-uh you got to make a choice you got to see between beyond these illusions the seven of cups is you making a choice and please make the proper one because if you don't then it's going to set you off uh, down the wrong course and your abundance your abundance is definitely on the line so do not be greedy you are already abundant you have a lot um but this is the seven of cups. So this is like, you got to make a choice, something that's tied to your emotions. All right. Don't be emotionally greedy, Capricorn. Just um, appreciate what you do have and cherish it and make the right choice with it because you can fumble the ball and mess if you make the wrong choice right here. And if you're trying to be too greedy, because this is what just popped up right there at the bottom of the deck, we have wasteful. Yeah. Because when you, if you, if you choose greed, then it's going to become wasteful. You're going to waste something instead of creating a relationship um it's going to be something that feels wasted it's going to feel wasted wasteful but yeah at the end of the day just keep your head up because there's a new beginning happening for you right now in terms of your abundance so get your energy in alignment capricorn everything is all well and i really appreciate you if anything um resonated 
please give this video a thumbs up and comment below if you want to have a conversation sharing is caring so share this video with another capricorn that you know might benefit from watching it and i hope i see y'all next time when i come back with another reading for the amazing crazy sign of capricorn peace love and prosperity everybody